Hello, everyone. My name is Kevin DeLong. I'm the founder of Cyber Social Hub, where we're a uh, community of digital investigators. So it's uh, we're there to help you out uh, if you get stuck with doing some type of uh, investigation with um, anything to do with digital technologies. So what I'm going to show you today is just a quick tip on how to investigate Instagram. So if you have a case, um, be it a private case or a law enforcement case, and you need some way to collect the publicly available information from Instagram, this is the way to do it. So I'm going to show you in just a quick setup here that I have in Kali Linux. I'm not going to show you how to set Kali Linux up. They have really detailed instructions on their site. I'm running it in a VM called VirtualBox, which makes things really easy. So what we are going to do, though, is uh, just open a browser up, which I already have open here, um, and just do a search for OSINTgram. OSINTgram, that's O-S-I-N-T-G-R-A-M. And you'll see this first one here. It's from Datalux right here. So we can go ahead and click this. And this is going to take you to the GitHub repository of how to uh, install this. Don't worry. I know it's a little bit technical looking, um, but it's really easy to do because with, especially with this one, they have a really great readme, which is not the case for all GitHub, by the way. If you're not uh, a coder at all, then it could be a problem. So keep in mind, um, I recommend this as well. Um, this is for educational purposes only, right? Not responsible. Don't use it for evil is, uh, is the real, uh, the main thing. They have detailed instructions on here on how to use the tool, but I'm going to walk through and show. But probably the, the most important thing here is they, they have this step-by-step um, -step installation guide. Literally copy and paste this in as you go through and everything will work out great. Uh, occasionally there's a, a few little issues, but uh, I'm going to show you uh, uh, or I'll, I'll talk about at least how, how to get through those. All right, what I'm going to do then is go over to a command line here, and there I am. So I'm just at a standard command line. I'm going to see where I'm at here. And uh, okay, so I'm at uh, right at the home here of Kali Linux, and you can see it's a default installation. So I'm going to list out all my files. Now you can see I've already done uh, the instructions for it, and it created this folder for me here called uh, OSINTgram. So I'm going to change directories over to that, and there we go. And I'll list that out as well for us. So there we have it. So now we're in the um, OSINTgram structure. And I've already created a, uh, a virtual environment within here. Um, I don't have it active yet. So I do need to activate that. You can still see I'm on the normal thing. And what that is, essentially, you can install a lot of things with Python. And with Python, you know, a lot of different... Uh, uh, programs require, you know, either Python 2, different versions of Python 3, or different modules installed. And you may, wanna, may not want to pollute all of that up. So that's why we, we do this. So I'm going to do this right here. I'm just going to say, uh, what do I want to say here? I want to activate. In this case, it's a it's called source. Oh, yeah. Hey, look at that. It's almost completing it for me already. Uh, so V-E-N-V uh, forward slash bin, because there's a bin file in there. And we're just going to use the command called activate. Spelling is very important. I cannot type and talk at the same time a lot of times. So let's see if we can get this. There we go. So now it'll appear the, the folder structure, at least the folder of where you installed that, that, hey, you're using this virtual environment for uh, for Python. When in reality, we didn't change directions uh, directories. I'm going to go ahead and show you that. See, we're in the same directory. It's just in a virtual uh, little setup here, which is, which is really nice to do. So another thing I want to show you here is this config folder really quick right here. So I'm going to change my directory over to this config and I'm going to list this out. Now there is a file in here called credentials INI. What this is, is your Instagram credentials that you're going to use in order to get logged in to Instagram. You do need a valid Instagram account and Instagram, I'm going to warn you ahead of time, does flag the account if you use this too much. So use an account that you don't necessarily care about. So don't use your primary business Instagram account to do this because it could get flagged and, and shut down um, for this. So again, just enter those credentials and you'll be fine. And also, if you do get flagged, which I did in the setting up of this demo, I got flagged a couple times, there's detailed instructions that come on and you have to just walk through how to do that. Really, what you need to do is just log into Instagram with your your same credentials that you use here. Tell them, hey, yep, we're valid. Everything's good. And it'll let you go. But I'm also going to show you a little trick on how to clear 
some of the cash out out of um, this OSINT gram as well. So I'm going to go back to then the main one and list this out. Now the file that we want to run right here is this main.py. This main Python uh, file is what we want to run. So to do that, I'm just going to type Python 3. You can see I've already typed it because you must test when you're doing a recording, <laughs> right? So uh, Python 3, I'm going to type, type main py. Now this next one here, um, now you can already see it's auto completed here, but you can type in anything that you want here, but it does have to be a valid username. This is your target. This is who you're going to be looking at or who the investigation is around, uh, whether it's against uh, uh, you know, uh, a suspect you're looking at or an employee or whatever it might be, this is um, where you enter that. So I'm just going to literally use my own account here, um, which is Cyber Social Hub. Now, you can see this dash dash cookies uh, because it's uh, Kali Linux likes to autocomplete, which is great for us lazy people, right? Um, so what this does, and I would recommend that you start this way, is it will clear the cookies out or the cache out of the system ahead of time. So, and what I found by doing this, it does cause a lot less issue of getting logged in. So let's give this a go and see if it's gonna work. Fingers crossed, fingers still crossed, and maybe, hey, there it goes. Okay, great, <laughs> that worked, that makes me happy. So we can see here that the logo pops up and who develops it, uh, Giuseppe, Chris, Chris Kion, I'm, I'm terrible if your name is not Bob Smith. I have a hard time pronouncing it. So kudos to that person for creating this. And I know this has been forked over uh, several times. Uh, you can see, like, I think that I downloaded this one from the Datalux um, one. Uh, so anyway, uh, it's been forked several times. But as you can see here, there are several options. So depending on the type of investigation you're doing, who you're going after on Instagram, we can pull all sorts of things out of here. We can type list to show us all the commands, which we're going to do. We can say, yes, create a file. I highly recommend this uh, because that way you don't have to copy and paste all of the stuff from the screen output. It doesn't save anything by default. So by doing this, I'm just going to type file equals Y, just like it shows right here. Okay. File equals Y right there. And what that does, it's going to show, save a, a file based off our target name. And our target name in this case was right up here, Cyber Social Hub, okay? And it also gives you the account ID of, uh, of the person you're targeting to. All right, so now we're gonna run a command. <clears throat> now there is options obviously here to run some JSON, but I'm just doing a straight uh, file uh, saved out here. So from now, I'm gonna type the word list, and this is gonna give me a list of all the commands that I can run against my target. If I want to get, um, I don't know, um, all the captions, all the photos, all of their followers, you can see here there's a, just a complete list. And this is really just this simple as typing these words you see here in bold along the left side into the command. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to just type followers and hit enter or return, depending on what system you're on. So what it's going to do is going to go ahead and... Uh, pull these followers up and then list them out. So there they are. So now you can see a complete list of all the followers for this account, right? The followers is who's following the account. So there it is. It gives you also the Instagram ID, their Instagram username, and then their friendly name or their display name here out here as well. So this would help you obviously down the road with any legal papers that you need to issue um, or any type of further investigation that you're gonna do. I'm going to go back and type the word list again, and this is going to give me some information. So another thing that you can do that is really powerful tool here is this followers email right here. Now, obviously it's not spelled quite accurately. Um, so make sure you type it right. So it is F W E R S and then the word email, and we can actually get all the followers email. Now this process, I'll warn you ahead of time, does take a really long time to get. I mean, a really long time. So don't be upset if you're like sitting there for a long time, depending on how many followers this uh, account has that you're targeting. Um, so for this demo, I'm just going to run a few here. I'm going to go ahead and it's going to pull, I think uh, of our account, it pulls like 400, something like that. Yeah. And it says, do you want to get all the emails? I don't. I don't want to pull everything just for demo. But normally if you're doing investigation, you absolutely would. Uh, you would want to say yes, but I'm going to say no. It says, how many do you want to get? I'm just going to pull two. 
I am just going to pull two and that's it. Now, here is where Instagram occasionally says, hey, uh, the account, something's a little fishy with it. It's doing some weird activity and you may have to log back into the account. If that happens, I will show you. If not, then we'll be blessed and hey, there it is. Uh, so we managed just to uh, pull these things out of the uh, account. So it gives us the account ID, the username, full name, and any email addresses. Now, you saw that it was going to pull 400 of them, uh, but I only pulled two. Uh, for demonstration purposes. Same thing with uh, the phone numbers. I'm going to type list again here. And this time it is followers number. So you can hit this here and I'm going to just copy that selection. Click back down here and paste the selection because I'm a lazy typer. I'm going to hit return. And do you want to get all the phone numbers? No, I don't want to get all the phone numbers because again, this takes a long time. I'm just going to pull two again, for demo purposes, but it will cache uh, some of the uh, the numbers up here. So we'll wait a few seconds to see how long it's going to take just to pull two of the phone numbers. And that's if, if two of them even have it. I didn't test this part in all fairness ahead of time. So um, as this is collecting, I'm going to go ahead and talk about some of the other things. So we can pull any hashtags the target's typically using. So if the hashtag is targeting, yeah, there we go. Um, so real quick back, there's our phone numbers for uh, for these uh, companies. And, and majority of the time, what it is, is is a company here. And I'll blur out anything that I think is not a company um, uh, ahead of time before we, we kick this thing out. So there it is. There's our, our phone numbers. But we can also pull hashtags. We can pull information about the account. We can pull any likes uh, that uh, happen of the target's posts. This will just help you. Um, see any types of communication or anyone else that's showing interest in the account as well. So I recommend this. Another thing that we can do is download all of the target's photos in the output folder. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. And it's simply by typing photos. We can pull this out and it says, how many do you want to download? I'm only going to pull four. I don't want to pull all of them because that will take a really long time on this particular account. So I'm going to pull four and it's going to pull four photos. It should do this fairly quickly. Um, there you can go. See one, two, three, four. Gotcha. <clears throat> and then we'll go back and take a look at those. So again, as you can see, this is really easy to do. And all the information you get is very, very accurate. It makes things a lot easier than having to take a lot of screenshots over and over again. So that's really all I wanted to do on this. It was just go through and touch base on this so you guys can see how powerful this tool is and how awesome Python is. It's really easy to get set up and going. Uh, and with that, I'm going to kind of minimize all of these things. I'm going to go over here to the home directory and I'm going to show you in the output folder right here and make this a little bit bigger here so everybody can see it okay. And there it pulled four photos um, that were associated with the account and we can actually view these right here. Okay, so we can view all of those and that's great. Uh, I love those images. Um, so it did pull the last four <clears throat> and any of the followers, you can see that it did a preface of, uh, of the file of the target name that we used. And you can switch the, the target name any type that, time that you want. So you can flip through here and you can see, again, there's all the followers um, that are in that account. And I'll show you that here real quick. I'll switch back over here. And to do this, you just type the word target. So target, um, hit there and, you don't know, whatever it is that you want, put my uh, own Instagram on there and then it'll switch targets. So you can see now it's switched to, um, another target, right? And if you wanted to switch back, oops, forgot to type target first and it will pull up the next target and it'll create new files based off of whatever target that you're after. So that's really it. If you guys got any questions, feel free to reach out to me in Cyber Social Hub and uh, happy investigating.